Hi Brian, here is a quick video walk around for you of the mini electric car top we've been discussing. So this car has 35 miles on it currently. However, this is actually a car we purchased from another mini dealer that has been struggling to sell these cars. So we just bought it, you know, from them. That doesn't mean that this is a used car or anything. It was just a dealer to dealer transfer. So the car has 35 miles. It came from South Bay Mini, which is about 12, 13 miles away from our store. So about half those miles were just on getting the car here to our dealer. Uh, now, whether it was test driven here or test driven there, I'm not sure. But I've already walked around the car and uh, really used a discerning eye after so many years of doing this in the business. I know what to look for. I'm not seeing anything on this car that you should be concerned about. And I will uh, walk around it and give you a good angle of all the panels. I'm just kind of showing you everything here on the outside first. But uh, yeah, South Bay had about 20 of these in stock and they were actually gonna sell them to a dealer in Hawaii. And uh, we decided we wanted them because we had no hard tops at all to sell. And uh, we would take a gamble on getting these cars over here. So you can see here, sold to South Bay Mini, shipped to South Bay Mini, but we did a trade with them and took some of these off of their hands, uh, hoping that we would be able to turn some business out of these cars, which we've done okay with, we still have a fair amount of these on the lot, but uh, that lease has definitely been helping interest in these units lately. I already looked underneath the car. There are no scrapes or issues down below. You can see here, everything is nice and clean. No rough test drives. Messing up the under lip of the car. These actually have pretty good ground clearance. We have a test drive route here locally in Los Angeles that we like to take that has a really low dip on it and uh, none of the cars bottom out right there. So it's nice to customers to see that there really isn't uh, any big issues with ground clearance for this car. That being said, of course, I'm sure you could probably find some somewhere that you might be able to bottom out the car. You've got the little power dome right there on the hood kind of a BMW thing that has that little part that pops up there like an old 80s Trans Am hood. But everything is really nice and clean on the car. On the outside, of course, windshield. Nothing's wrong with the windshield. This car hasn't been detailed, so it's not perfectly clean yet. I put a sold sign in there for you just so that way no one's buying this car out from under you in the next few days. But all the panels line up nice and straight. I'm going to give you your kind of side angle that you'd requested for the car. But no door dings or issues to speak of here. Hard to capture on a cell phone, but hopefully this is giving you a good idea. Of course, rear bumper, everything, real ta tailgate here, everything is fine with the car. No issues. Let's do the uh, left side here. I guess it's the right side. Excuse me. That's the nice thing about the Moonwalk Gray. It really is easy to spot any defects with the paint or issues, dents, dings, and anything like that be really easy to spot. But everything is as would be expected on this car. And this of course does have the actual leather seats. So what's nice with the leather, these are real leather, they're not leatherettes, so you're not gonna get your legs, aren't gonna be quite as hot on a warm summer day. These will actually breathe better because they are leather. They have the perforated pattern right here at the top, leather for the seating area, and then you have this nice um, suede inserts here on the sides. We have the piano black trim for the car, for the dash. Come around to the driver's side. The seats do fold down in the back as well, so you are able to fold down the seats in order to uh, 